Today, we're excited to have Dr. Kevin Klotz with us. He is the Director of Choral Activities and Assistant Professor of Music at HBU. Dr. Klotz directs the University Singers and the Scola Cantorum Ensembles and teaches music appreciation, class piano, conducting, and vocal techniques. Dr. Klotz is also the music minister at the St. Lawrence Catholic Church in Sugarland, Texas, and the artistic director-conductor of the Houston Choral Society. Welcome, Dr. Klotz. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on today. It's great to have you at HBU now. Thank you very much. Tell us how you came to HBU and all this uh, excitement that's happening now in the music division. Well, um, I'm really honored to be back at HBU where I was a student, where I graduated in 99 with a degree in music. Um, it's been so great to be back on campus now in a little different role as professor um, and working with a lot of my uh, great, my favorite teachers that I had back in the 90s, Dr. Kramlick and Dr. Furr. Uh, it's so great to be back with them and now getting to work, to collaborate with them and work together on the faculty, um, but I applied for the position last last year, and I uh, was and I was blessed to receive that and uh, to come on campus. And it's been a great year. Um, it really, I just enjoyed working with the two choirs. I really enjoyed teaching the classes, music appreciation. Um, I taught also a voice class and also conducting, and I just really enjoyed it. It's been great to be back on the campus. I, I've always loved HBU. And it's been great to, to work with the students as well and, and faculty. So it's just been really a full circle uh, thing. So. so tell us about your vision and leadership coming to HBU in this important position, Director of Choral Activities and Assistant Professor of Music. What do you have planned? What leadership initiatives are you going to um, cast and, and direct there at HBU? Well, I'm very honored to be on the music faculty here at HBU. And, you know, first and foremost, I want to continue the very strong and solid foundation of the music department. Um, you know, in the choral department specifically, I mean, the choral department at HBU has always been very strong. All of the conductors and teachers that have taught and led the choirs have been so great and very inspirational to me personally. Um, so it's great to be back on campus and to continue their legacy but to also develop plans for the future. Uh, I would love to see our choral program to continue to grow, to develop, to attract more and more students to the program. Right now we have two choirs, the University Singers and the Schola Cantorum, but I would love to see us over the next three, five, eight, ten 10 years to add more choirs and to maybe have a men's choir one day, a women's choir, uh, maybe to have a worship choir uh, someday, a worship choir. Um, ensemble that maybe specializes in certain sacred music styles. Um, but I would just love to see the choral department to continue to grow and to expand and to, um, to perform throughout the city, uh, in addition to performing at HBU, but throughout the city, throughout the state. Uh, I'd love to see us compete uh, with other schools and different conferences and competitions, choral competitions. Uh, but I really just want to see the department continue to grow to do um, more and more things, to, to let the students experience more and more different repertoire of different styles and different periods. Um, and I want them to continue to bond together, become a family, and really enjoy uh, and elevate the art of choral music. You know, praise is one of the key words my wife and I focus on each day. Thanksgiving praise. We have five key words and we get out of bed every day. It's just our modus operandi for the day. Mm -hmm. So many people love to sing. I, I just am thinking about prospective students, students at HBU, you know, um, they're probably wondering what's the prerequisite to get into these choirs? Uh, maybe I'm not good enough. Can you explain how they can actually uh, get involved? Well, I think everyone can learn to sing. I really think everyone has that ability. I don't know about me, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at, in order to get into the choirs, it's actually very simple. Um, and, and joining the choir is, to be honest with you, it's an awesome thing to do. It's a great, great, exciting thing to do. And so I encourage everyone to join the choir. 
Um, doesn't matter what your major is. If you're majoring in biology, uh, join the choir. It's, it's something different to do. It uses different parts of your brains and it's, it's a great way to just kind of enjoy something else, to have a, a different thing to do. But uh, to join the choir, it's pretty simple. We have two choirs. We have the University Singers, which is non-auditioned, which means that anyone can sign up. You do not have to audition. Just sign up and show up on the first day. It's as simple as that. Uh, and then we also have um, a more advanced choral ensemble, which is the Scola Cantorum. It's a little bit more advanced and you have to audition for that. And usually the audition consists of vocalization, sight reading, and pitch memory. So there's a couple little different things that you do. Once again, it's not, you know, it's nothing that's out of the ordinary. It's pretty straightforward. And I'm happy to talk to anyone who might be interested in either choir and kind of help them and, and get them involved because we would love to continue to build up our choirs here at HBU. And we are planning the fall 2020. In fact, we have a hashtag called just can't wait for fall 2020, JCY, the number four fall 2020. And um, HBU, in spite of the rigors of recent months, is planning absolutely fall to come back together. So we want to contextualize our remarks that this fall you're planning a, a university uh, singers and uh, the other group as well. Give us your vision for the fall in 2020 in spite of the challenges. Right. This is a very challenging time um, you know, in, in our city, our college, in our world. And my prayers are always with everyone uh, every day for this and, and constantly praying for an end to this pandemic. Um, and because uh, these are challenging times, but we we're going to continue on. And, um, and this fall, I am planning to have both choirs in session. Um, now, most likely, you know, it's going to look very different. Yeah, than how it is distant, maybe, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be very different. It's going to look different. Our rehearsals will be different. Most likely, you know, to be in, in accordance with CDC and the university policies, we're going to be splitting up into smaller groups, like a group A and B that will alternate, like most classes. Um, most likely we'll rehearse and probably in smaller formations, maybe, you know, quartets or octets. And, and it'll be very different from anything we've ever done. But I'm also kind of excited about this because it'll give us a different way to approach music. It'll give us a different way to listen to each other, to listen in smaller groups, to be aware of each other in a different formation. So I see a lot of positives out of this. It definitely is a a very challenging time and my prayers go out to everyone um, that's dealing with this pandemic right now and I keep praying for an end to it. Um, but we're gonna keep going on and try to make music and sing and, and do it in a very safe and healthy manner. You know, resiliency is a mark of Houston Baptist University. Uh, I always think of Don Lozier's book, Act of Providence. And if someone takes the time to read that, they find out that in the 60-year history of HBU, there's been many, many challenges. I mean, hurricanes, you name it. I mean, things that are not the normal kind of challenge. And yet, in those difficult moments, HBU, in its resilient spirit, which is so characteristic of the city of Houston, I've never, not, not, not perhaps another city quite like Houston in that that DNA of entrepreneurialism, comeback kid, so to speak, uh, it moves on. And you're going to move on this fall. And we're going to do it safely. We're going to do it in observing all the protocols. I'm so grateful for all the uh, intelligent team members at HBU that work on that, collaborate with our entire uh, leadership team. But the <laughs> fact is, we're going to move forward. And you're going to move forward. And so what's it going to be like for you? What kind of excitement do you have knowing that you're probably launching in a challenging moment and it's all downhill from there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, yeah, I definitely think this is a very challenging time, but it will also challenge us to grow um, and to find different ways and to find creative ways to do the same thing that we were doing, but in different ways. Um, I'd love to, you know, uh, we're definitely going to do a concert this fall, one or two concerts. And we, we, we may do them in different formations. We may split, split the choir in a couple different formations and present the concerts. 
They may be shorter than, than our usual concerts in the past. Um, we may also uh, look into doing a virtual choir project where we can get everyone together, you know, all 40 something singers and, and do something maybe like a virtual choir recording where each right. member submits a recording and then we compile it. So I'm looking into that and the possibility of doing that as well. Um, but we're gonna keep singing and you know, music is so important. It's the universal language. Uh, it can bring so much healing to, to us and we're gonna need a lot of healing from this. And in hope and consolation, I mean music, the words, sacred music, for example, you know, provides so much uh, inspiration of God's word, um, comfort, the love, the love and mercy of Christ, you know, is, is found in music. And that's gonna keep us going. We're gonna keep singing and uh, proclaiming the, the, the good word of the Lord. And um, I know it's gonna be very different from the past, but we're gonna keep finding ways we can make music and come together um, because we have to. Absolutely. You know, it is interesting. There, nothing stimulates a believer more than worship and praise and uh, you know I, I, there's been times when i've listened to some of the groups at hbu or some of the musical presentations where it just brings tears to my eyes there's there, there's no words to say i mean i think it's the the spirit within us not not our spirit quickened by the holy spirit that bears witness that we are eternal and we have an eternal god and uh, we have a savior, Jesus Christ, and we have salvation. We have a, a great future home that is far beyond, as they say, this bell of tears. You uniquely get to spend your life using that tool to, to serve and to pay tribute to God with music. Uh, it's got to be a rewarding career in many regards, is it? It is, it's truly a blessing to my life. Um, every day I get to wake up and, and make music, to play music on the piano, conduct, um, and to help others and, and, and work with other musicians and singers and um, uh, instrumentalists. And it's just, it's really wonderful. It's a real blessing to my life uh, to, you know, I've been working at St. Lawrence Catholic Church for the last 21 years where I get to work with choirs. You know, I have three choirs there, which is a real blessing. and. And, and then when I took the position at HBU last year, um, it was so wonderful to be on this campus to where I can be open about my faith and about my belief in God and to continue that in my, in my music, um, just like I do at church. So it's really, it's allowing me to continue uh, to put God first in, in all that I do and to help my students to see that and experience the wonder, uh, you know, the wonder of the Lord and what we do and everything that we do. Um, it's so fulfilling. And, and that's not to say that there's not tough days or long days. There always will be those days. But the fact that what, everything that I do is to, to praise and serve God first and to put that first in all my teaching and, and all my conducting and everything that I do, that is, that, that's such a great thing to me personally. It's just, it really is uh, so important to me. It's a real blessing. And to be able to open up about my faith and the music and, and share, you know, like in the sacred songs that we sing, to be able to share about the message, the sacred message of God, the praise, the worship, and the music that we sing, and to reveal that to my students and talk about it and share about it. It's a real, it's just, it's a blessing. It warms my heart, and um, I'm a very, very lucky person to have this position. Dr. Kevin Klotz is with us, the Director of Choral Activities and Assistant Professor of Music at Houston Baptist University. Uh, Dr. Klotz, tell us how students can get more information. Where can they go at hbu.edu uh, and how can they connect with you, get their questions answered, and you kind of help them along to get integrated into the life of Houston Baptist University. Sure, well, with regards to the music department, if, if you do a search for HBU Music or just look for the School of Fine Arts um, on the page, on the main page, and then go down to the Department of Music, you can find information on the choirs. You can, you can find information about getting involved with the choirs. You can also find my contact information on there as well, which I can also share with you at this point, which is, um, you can email me at kclotz at hbu.edu. That's k k l o t z at hbu.edu. 
um, that's probably the best way to reach me. Um, so feel free to get in touch with me, you know, look at the pages, look at our concerts that we have listed coming up, look at the ones we've done in the past and, and, um, and you can find more information about that just by looking around. Thank you, Dr. Kevin Klotz for joining us today. We look forward to your leadership in coming days and we look forward to lifting all of our voices in praise to God. He's in control, we know that. And uh, we look forward to all the good things that are gonna happen. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me on. It's a real blessing to have this opportunity and I look forward to a great year.